Hi Brewers, I'm Daniel with MCH Australia Keg King and today I'd like to show you a really cool little device we have for filling bottles directly from your tap uh, under pressure so that they don't lose carbonation. It's called Tap Cooler and uh, it's really actually quite a handy little device to have on hand in any draft system. A lot of us moved away from bottling because of the complications of bottling and having to have all that glass on hand and sanitize every single one of them and fill them. But this is an easy system for when you have a keg system and taps and you just want to fill a couple of bottles maybe to enter a competition or share with friends, take camping, and you don't want to lose the carbonation and the qualities of your beer just by pouring it directly into a bottle and capping it. That's just going to wind up being a flat beer in a day or so. So this is a nice way to fill up and keep the quality of your beer. So as I said, it's called Tap Cooler and it's an all stainless steel counter pressure bottle filler that works really well with forward sealing tap systems. So you can use this little device with uh, Ultra Tap, with Intertap, with Perlic and with uh, Ventmatic taps. Any of your forward sealing designs, it's gonna fit directly into the tap like that. This is extendable so you can fill up to a 750 mil bottle or anything smaller. Um, we're gonna go ahead and flip it around this way so that our gas is on this side. And you know, they give you a six mil gas barb. So this six mil gas barb is supposed to be fitted to the push fitting on the side of it. And then you're, you can run a gas line from a gas bottle into this clamped. And you're gonna be using this button to purge with. But to make things even easier, the people at Tap Cooler also manufacture a ball lock insert for the side of it, which we think is really great as well uh, because it's just so convenient. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you today's demonstration with the ball lock adapter in place, and then we can just easily disconnect a gas line to that. So there we go. Now, as you can see, or maybe even here, yeah, the gas is actually able to purge your bottles um, when you fill them. So I'll go ahead and do this 640 mil bottle and I usually start with this extended so then I add the bottle to it. The bottle's been cleaned and sanitized, of course, and uh, it's a bit chilled as well so that when the beer strikes it, it's not hitting a warm surface and uh, disrupting the carbonation. So I'm gonna just, uh, instead of sealing it at the silicone seal at the top of the filler, I'm just gonna hold it lightly on top and then go ahead and push this button. I'll do it this way so I'm not in the way of it. And it's going to purge the oxygen in the bottle with CO2 from the gas tank. So we're filling up in a nice anaerobic condition. Once I'm happy with the amount of purge that I've uh, provided to the bottle so that that inert gas is filling it almost in entirety, I'll go ahead and push the bottle up and hold it up with the bottom of my hand against adding some pressure against the silicone seal. So the bottle is now sealed against that. And now all I have to do is open the tap. So as I open the tap, the beer will start to fill from the bottom, striking nicely onto the glass and then filling to a point where it finally can't really fill any further because the pressure isn't being relieved. But that's what this is for on the side of the tap cooler. Now that I'll bleed off the, the pressure, the liquid's pouring again nicely into the bottle and it's doing so under pressure. So it's not causing much foam, if any. And eventually we will get a nice filled bottle. You don't have to run it slow, but I do just because I don't wanna disturb the, the liquid coming out of the keg. So just like any good bottle fill, you're gonna stop just uh, you know, well below the level of the uh, bottle top. So I'm gonna start slowing this down now so that the fill kind of stops in that same area that you'd fill if you were bottling and using priming sugar. We shut off the flow of the liquid. And then this is what's really nice about this as well. So we take it off pressure, right? Um, you'll have a little bit of the evacuation of liquid from the extendable tube, right? Um, and what was in there. And then we can just 
purge a little bit of more CO2 into the top of that bottle before we quickly whack a sanitized cap on there. Get that into our uh, bottle capper. And there you have it. That's a bottle of beer that's been bottled under uh, pressure to preserve the carbonation and also a lot of the other flavor and aroma characters of that beer. Another nice thing about being able to fill like this is the lack of uh, sediment that would have been caused in secondary fermentation. These bottles won't have much sediment, if any at all, um, because they're coming right out of your keg after you've already maybe fined and added um, forced carbonation. So it's a really great way to be able to bottle. It's a really great way to preserve like just a tiny portion of your keg. Um, if you were about to run out of the keg maybe and you just wanted to keep a bottle aside so that you could come back and say, this is what I brewed earlier. Um, yeah, it's a good way to be able to do that. So what other reasons would you maybe want to be able to bottle just one or two off of a tap system like this? Um, it's going to be perfect for entering competitions. So when your kegs are running really nicely, when aroma and hop flavors um, are at their peak, when the beer is pouring really clearly because you're no longer pouring any sediment off the very bottom of the keg, um, that's a great time to probably capture that beer and some of the uh, excellent qualities that you've worked really hard to preserve. So bottling under pressure so that you can maintain that carbonation, a uh, nice clean way to do it, and a cool little rig that works really well. So not really great for humongous bottling runs, but really just for a few that you want to keep off of the kegs that you want to be able to showcase, take with you camping, whatever you're going to be doing with the bottles. Yeah, it's going to be a good little device for that. So um, yeah, I highly recommend picking this up. And I do really recommend as well that if you do pick one up, pick up the ball lock adapter. It just makes life really easy. You don't need it. It does come with the six mil uh, barb attachment for the gas end of it. But the ball lock adapter really does make it that much easier to use if you've already got a disconnect um, on your gas system. So that's pretty much it, the tap cooler. Uh, you can find it on our website and all the uh, attachment products that work with it as well. Hope you like this product. I know I do. And we'll see you next time.